so much to learn about. It'll make you wanna shout, Mika! Hi, it's me, Mika! And today I'm at the American Museum of Natural History in New York City. Do you know what's inside of this museum? All different kinds of animals and dinosaurs. And I heard that they have one of my favorite dinosaurs, a T-Rex. Do you know what a T-Rex looks like? I have one in my jam pack. Whoa, here it is. <laughs> hey, will you come with me and see if we can find a T-Rex inside? Let's go. Whoa, I'm inside of the museum. I can't wait to find the T-Rex. Whoa! That is definitely not the T-Rex. Do you know what that is? It's a blue whale! Oh, and look, I see a bandage on that whale. <laughs> Even whales get boo-boos. Did you know that the blue whale is the biggest animal on the planet? <laughs> it's so cool! <laughs> oh, I see someone over there who works at the museum. I bet they have more whale facts. Come on! Hi. Hello. I'm Mika. What's your name? Alexandra. Hi, Alexandra. So I bet you know something about the blue whale. Yes. You do? What do you do here? I'm an educator. Oh, an educator. So yeah, you definitely know. Um, what do blue whales eat? Blue whales eat tiny krill. Whoa. Look at these tiny shrimps. Can you believe a big blue whale likes to eat these tiny little shrimps? <laughs> <laughs> Wow, well, do blue whales have teeth like us? No, they don't have teeth. They have baleen. Baleen? Oh, whoa, feels like straw. Can you imagine if you had straw in your mouth instead of teeth? Ugh, <laughs> so how do they eat? They open up their mouth. Okay. Very, very big. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. They take a cup of water, <gasps> put krill in it. Mm -hmm. Then they push the water out with their tongue. And what's inside? The grill. Mm. Mm. Oh, <laughs> that seems really complicated. That is not how I eat at all. Wow. And what is that? It looks like a big bone. This is a part of the well vertebra. The vertebrae. Well, mm. we have those. You can yeah. feel it in your back. Yeah. Can I hold it? Yes, sure. Whoa. Oh, this is so heavy. Look how big this is. Ours are so tiny. Blue whales are huge. <laughs> okay, here, I'll give that back to you. Wow, well, thanks for sharing those facts with us. I'm gonna keep exploring, but maybe I'll see you later. See you later. All right, awesome, <laughs> come on. Where is the T-Rex? Where, where is the T-Rex? Whoa. That is not the T-Rex, but it is a very large mammal. Do you know what it is? It's a walrus. <laughs> Not a real walrus, this is just a model. But this looks pretty much exactly like a real walrus. Whoa, do you see those big tusks? They're made out of ivory and they're really strong and really sharp. And that one looks like the size of my arm, maybe even bigger. Look, can you imagine if you had something that big hanging out of your mouth? Could you even find a toothpick big enough to clean that thing? <laughs> They can use them when they're in the water to poke into the ice and pull their bodies up. Very helpful. <laughs> Will you act like a walrus with me? Okay, get your tusk out. <clears throat> Let's keep looking for the T-Rex. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Walrus out. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Wow, you're so funny. That's why you're my favorite. That is why you are my favorite dinosaur. <laughs> oh, hey. I'm still trying to find the T-Rex, but I don't see any dinosaurs anywhere. <laughs> Let's keep looking over here. Maybe we can find something. <gasps> Whoa, gorillas. <gasps> gorillas are super cool. They're really big, they're really strong, they're hairy. They can stand up tall just like humans. But the male gorilla is 10 times stronger than a human. That's Pretty strong. <laughs> Will you act like a gorilla with me? All right, let me see your muscles. Pound your chest. Let's keep looking for more animals. Whoa, yeah, I feel strong just acting like a gorilla. <laughs> Whoa, check it out. See in the back there? 
a giraffe. Giraffes are so tall. They can get up to 18 feet tall. That's really, 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 really tall. And they have super long black tongues. Isn't that cool? <laughs> Do you know what that animal is? That's right, a zebra. Zebras are awesome. They have black and white stripes and a group of zebras is called a dazzle. <laughs> Isn't that amazing? Check out that dazzle of zebra over there. <laughs> they run super fast and they can run in zigzags. Will you zigzag with me? All right, let's go. Run in zigzag. <laughs> Whoa, elephants are so big, so they have to eat a lot of food. Actually, most of their day is filled with eating. They're herbivores, so they're vegetarians. They don't eat meat. Wow, oh, and look, big tusks, just like those walruses. <laughs> hey, will you act like an elephant with me? Get your trunk out. Ready? <laughs> Maybe you can stomp like an elephant. big cats are lions. I love lions because they have really big roars. Kind of like the T-Rex. <laughs> See that one with the mane, all of the hair? That's a male lion. That's how you know, because it has a mane. The other lions that don't have manes are females. And a group of lions is called a pride. <laughs> I still don't see any dinosaurs though. Will you keep looking with me? All right, come on. Wow, we're in the dinosaur room. There has to be a T-Rex here, right? That means yes. <laughs> Let's keep looking. Oh, there's a dinosaur over there. Ah, long tail, lots of teeth, but that's pretty small. A T-Rex is way bigger than that dinosaur. It's almost as little as this toy dinosaur. Hello. <laughs> hmm. Oh, look at this dinosaur. Whoa, it has a long neck. Its head is going back really far. Oh, I wonder if it's a dancing. <laughs> nice moves, but not a T-Rex. Hmm. I can't see the T-Rex anywhere. Do you see a T-Rex? Looks like this, big head, so many teeth, really big talons. <gasps> it's right there, the T-Rex, my favorite dinosaur. <gasps> Whoa, look how big the head is. See those big jaws with tons of teeth? Wow, they're so sharp and there's so many of them. Did you know that the T-Rex could have up to 50 to 60 teeth in its mouth? That's a lot of teeth. <laughs> Whoa, you can see the whole body of the T-Rex. The head, the ribs, the big legs, the big feet. Roar! Roar! <laughs> oh, hello. Hi. Hi, I'm Mika, what's your name? Hi, my name is Alana. Hi, Alana, what do you do here? I'm a museum educator. Whoa, museum educator, so you must know a lot about dinosaurs. I do. Oh, cool, well, I'm really excited because my favorite dinosaur is the T-Rex. I really like the T-Rex also. Oh yeah? Well, yeah, what's one of the reasons you love the T-Rex? I like the T-Rex because it was one of the biggest predators. Oh, I know, it's very cool. The T-Rex is huge, has a really big head and legs and a really big tail. You know, they use that big tail to help them balance. Oh yeah, that's right, because their heads are really heavy, right? Really big heads. Yeah, so the tail helps them balance. Like that. You know what else <laughs> I like about the T-Rex? What? Look at this big foot here. Whoa, is this a real foot of a T-Rex? This is a model. Okay, okay. But this is like an exact replica. Yeah, you can see how big it was. Whoa, am I allowed to touch it? You can touch it. Okay. Wow, look at these toenails. <laughs> They're so big and pointy. 
So they had three big toes uh -huh. on their back foot. You know what else I like about the T-Rex? What? How big their teeth were. Oh yeah, they have really big teeth. Look at this. <gasps> Whoa, look how big this tooth is. This is a model of a real T-Rex tooth. Wow, can you imagine if your teeth were this big? Look, is it the same? <laughs> That's really big. What do you think they might have liked to eat with a tooth this big? Oh, probably meat, yeah. right? They were carnivores. Oh, so they were meat eaters. Cool, right. and what's this? It looks like a big rock. It is a rock, except it's a very special rock. Oh, why? This is a fossil of a dinosaur bone. A real dinosaur a bone? A real dinosaur bone. Would you like to touch it? Yes, please. It's heavy. Okay. Well, let's see. Let's see. Okay, all right, it's a little heavy, but it's a real fossil of a dinosaur bone. That's amazing, and what part of the dinosaur is this? That was from their leg or their thigh bone. Oh, so like <laughs> down here. Right there. Wow, that's amazing. Thanks for sharing this with me. Yeah. So is the T-Rex the biggest dinosaur? It wasn't the biggest dinosaur, but this museum has a model of one of the biggest dinosaurs. What, can we see it? You wanna go see it? Yeah. Let's go. All right, come on. Wow. Whoa, it's so big. Whoa, it keeps going and going and going. <laughs> this is called a titanosaur. Titanosaur, wow, it's really cool. So the titanosaur family was a group of dinosaurs that were sauropods and herbivores. Oh, I know what a sauropod is. That means it walked on four feet. That's right. Ooh. <laughs> and an herbivore means that it was a plant eater. That's right. Yeah, very neat. Now this titanosaur is over 120 feet long. Whoa. Or 37 meters, <laughs> that's and, really long. And it weighed almost as much as 10 elephants. Whoa, 10 elephants, that's very, very heavy. Wow. But you know what's cool about this one? This one was just a juvenile, which means it's kind of like a teenager. Whoa, so it's not even fully grown? It gets bigger than this? It does. Wow, that's incredible. Thank you so much for showing me, showing me this titanosaur. I had fun with you. I have to go teach a class. Oh, but I'll see you soon. Okay, see ya, thanks again. Wow, what a fun day. We got to see so many cool animals like that big blue whale and walruses and lions and we got to see my favorite dinosaur of all time, the T-Rex. <laughs> Did you have a fun day? <laughs> Me too. Well, this is the end of this video, but if you wanna have more fun and see more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? Cool. M-E-E-K-A-H, Mika. <laughs> all right, we'll see you next time. <laughs> Hi, it's me, Mika. And today I'm at Balling Bounce in Encino, California. I bet there's all different kinds of balls that bounce here. And I bet there's a lot of different shapes here too. We can explore like circles or triangles or squares or rectangles. Will you explore with me? Oh great, let's go. Look how cool this floor is. I see a lot of different colors and I see a shape. Do you see a shape too? Yeah, a square. Here, come down here. A square has four sides. Let's count. One, two, three, four. There are squares all over this floor. Hmm, I know. I'm only gonna hop on the green squares. Ready? Green, green, green. <gasps> Whoa, look at this. Do you know what this is? It's a basketball hoop. And I see basketballs on the wall. Will you count the basketballs with me? Okay, one, 
two, three, four, five, six basketballs. <gasps> and I see four more right here. Wow, they're all different colors. There's one, two, three, four basketballs. Wow, these are so fun. Do you know what basketball is? It's a really fun sport. You take the basketball and you want to get it in the basket or the hoop. <laughs> hmm, I wonder if I could get any of these balls in the hoop. I'm gonna try my best. Okay, here we go. Basketball star Mika going for the hoop. Oh, I missed it. That's okay, I'm gonna keep practicing. Now we're gonna try the green basketball. Oh. See, I was trying to use the backboard to help me get it in, and it still didn't work. Well, I have two balls left. The yellow basketball, maybe this is the one. <gasps> yeah! This calls for a 10 second dance party. Yeah! <laughs> Should I try the last one? Maybe this time. I'll do a slam dunk. Ready? Here we go. Whoa! Wow! I got the skills. <laughs> I'm just being silly. <laughs> Can you think of another sport where you would need to use a ball? Hmm. <gasps> a soccer ball. Yeah, soccer is another really fun sport where you use a ball. I wonder if we can find a soccer goal anywhere. Come on. We have our soccer ball and our soccer goal, so now we can really play soccer. <laughs> Check out the soccer ball. See, it's black and white, and there's two different shapes on it. This shape is a pentagon. Will you count the sides with me? Okay. One, two, three, four, five. A pentagon has five sides, and this shape is a hexagon. <laughs> Let's count together. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six sides. So in soccer, you want to get the ball into the goal, but you can't use your hands. You can use your feet, you can use your knees. Hmm, wait a second. There's more balls over here. I wonder if I can get all of them into the goal. Let's see. Oh, we saw something like this earlier. It's a tiny basketball. Do you know what color it is? That's right, it's orange. I'm gonna kick it in the goal. Here we go. Boop. <laughs> oh yeah, goal. And what? <laughs> this tiny one looks like a ball pit ball. Do you know what color that is? Yellow, <laughs> one of my favorites. Let's see if I can kick this tiny little ball into the goal. <gasps> Boop! Yes! Goal! And we have this really bouncy ball. And it's blue. All right, in you go. Yeah! Whoa, that was a big one. Goal! And another basketball, but this one's a different color. Do you know what color it is? Red! Oh, right. That was too light of a kick, but don't worry, I have it in me. Here we go. Goal! See, I knew I could do it. And here's another really bouncy ball, and it's yellow. All right, three, two, one. Goal! Do you know what this color is? Oh yeah, it's red. Okay. And now is the time for the official soccer kick. I'm using a soccer ball. I'm using a soccer goal. One, go! I love soccer. <laughs> Thanks so much for playing with me. Wonder what else is here to play with. Let's go. Hey, look at these colorful blocks. 
kind of set up like bowling pins. And bowling is another sport where you use a ball. There's usually 10 pins for bowling. Will you count with me? Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. This is the perfect setup for bowling. The pins don't usually look like this. These are rectangles. Do you know what a rectangle is? It's a shape with four sides and it has two long sides and two short sides. Let's count them. One, two, three, four. Yeah, that's a rectangle. Hmm, and usually you have a bowling ball, which is really heavy. <laughs> but I don't think there's any bowling balls here. Hey, but there's some balls over here. I wonder what kind of ball would knock these blocks over? Hmm, we could try, oh, <laughs> look at this little one. Do you know what color this is? Blue, yeah, let's see if it will knock over these blocks. Nope. <laughs> what about this one? This is a fun yellow ball. All right, let's see if this one will work. Whoa. <laughs> wow, that's a really bouncy ball. It bounced right off the pin. Let's see how many I knocked over. One, two, Three, four, five, six. Hey, that's pretty good. I'll set them back up. We can try another ball. Awesome. Ooh, what about this basketball? I wonder if it's too bouncy to knock any of these blocks over. Let's see. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> yep, I knocked over. One, two, three, four, five. <laughs> we have one ball left to try, the soccer ball. Let's see if the soccer ball can knock any blocks over. Okay, here we go. Three, two, one. Wow, I knocked over. One, two, three, Four, five, six, seven, eight blocks. Hmm, I wonder what else we could do to knock these blocks down. I have an idea. What if instead of bowling, we played Mika Bowl? <laughs> and instead of using a ball, I'll use me. <laughs> okay, set these up and I'm gonna find a way Go down and knock these blocks over. What can I do? I could dance, I could crawl, I could run, or I could be one of my favorite dinosaurs, a T-Rex. Are you ready for the Mika Bowl? Rawr, 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 rawr. over and in bowling when that happens it's called a strike strike <laughs> five six seven eight and now it's time to celebrate <laughs> come on let's keep playing <laughs> whoa there are a lot of shapes here <gasps> come look at this one this is an octagon. Do you know how many sides it has? Well, let's count and find out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight sides. Wow, that's a really cool shape. Hmm. Oh, look at these little chairs. If you look at the back of them, you can see a square. A square has four sides, see? One, two, three, four. And there's one, two, three, four squares. But if you look even closer, when all of them are together, it makes one big rectangle. 
and makes for a really comfy couch. <laughs> Whoa, do you see this? It's a giant circle. Huh, it kind of looks like a cake or a pie. Whoa, look at this big slice of cake. Mmm. Mmm. Mm -hmm. Very tasty. <laughs> Wow, there's more shapes over here. I see a big purple rectangle. See, here's the two long sides and the two short sides. <laughs> oh, and if you look to the side here, I see a pink triangle. See, one, two, three. Do you see any other shapes? <gasps> yeah, a circle. A red circle. And this ball is here too. Should I throw the ball through the circle? Okay, let's do it. All right, ready? So long, ball. Woo! <laughs> hey, I see some really special circles over there. Come on. Whoa, look at all of these bubbles. These are the cool circles that I was talking about. <laughs> Bubbles are so fun. Hey, you know what I just realized? Every ball we played with today was a circle. A basketball, a soccer ball, a bouncy ball, a ball pit ball. <laughs> so many circles today. Can you remember any other shapes that we saw? We saw a hexagon, a pentagon, an octagon, a rectangle, a triangle, a square. There are so many shapes all around us all the time. Isn't that cool? <laughs> well, this is the end of this video, but if you wanna watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? <laughs> cool. M-E-E-K-A-H, Mika. <laughs> well, I'm gonna keep playing with these bubbles. See you next time, bye. It's me, Mika, and today I'm at the Children's Creativity Museum in San Francisco, California. Do you know what creativity is? It's when you use your imagination to make anything. <laughs> One, two, three, four. Mission control. I'm ready to explore. Whoa, smooth landing. <laughs> Did you see I was a rocket ship? <laughs> hey, look at these cool blocks. They're so colorful. Oh, and they feel soft. <laughs> Do you know what shape this is? This is a rectangle. See, there's two short sides and two long sides. Yeah, do you know what color it is? Green, that's right. And look at all the little circles. Huh, these are really cool. Ooh, one of my favorite colors. Yellow. Hey, what if we built a rocket ship out of these blocks? All right, let's do it. We need this one and this one. Mm -hmm. And we need some wings. Which block would make a good wing? <gasps> this one. And maybe this one. Hmm. Maybe some yellow on the top. Yellow, it's nice and bright. This way, space knows we're coming. <laughs> and then maybe this. Whoa. Yes, it's time to launch this rocket ship into space. Count down with me from 10. Ready? 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Blast off! <gasps> We've landed in space. There's no gravity. This is why I'm walking like this. I'm floating because I'm astronaut Mika. Whoa. One small step for inspiration. One giant leap for creativity. <laughs> Whoa. Look at all these moon rocks. We have to hop over them. Will you hop with me? Okay. 
Nice hopping. <laughs> Five, six, seven, eight. There's more to create. Let's go. Creativity installed. Whoa, it says launch it. You must be able to launch things here. Huh. <gasps> this is a vertical wind tunnel. Yeah, this wind down here forces things to go up through the tunnel. <gasps> this is a great way to test gravity. Do you know what gravity is? It's the force that pulls everything on Earth to the ground. It's also what keeps the planets orbiting the sun. Without gravity, they would just be floating around in space like, like this. Whoa. Looks like there's some items here that we could test to see which ones will float up through the tunnel. It's time for sink or fly. Let's see. Hmm. Oh, look. There's some leaves and flowers. They look really light. Do you think that they'll float up through the tunnel? Only one way to find out. Ready? Three, two, one. Three, two, one. It went all the way up out of the tunnel and here it comes. Ooh, ooh. I caught it. I'm gonna see if it'll go up again. Okay. Ready? Goodbye, little leaf. Whoa, that's so cool. What else is in here? Oh. Look at the squishy ball. <laughs> I wonder if this will float up the tunnel. What do you think? It's a little heavier than the leaf. All right, let's try. Three, two, one. Nope. <laughs> I think it's too heavy. Oh, look, there's some cotton balls here. See, they're green and soft. They also feel pretty light. Should we try? Maybe we can drag both of them at the same time. <laughs> Ready? Three, two, one. Whoa. It didn't fly up, but did you see it twirling around? Let's try again. Whoa, nope. <laughs> All right. <gasps> hey, this kind of looks like my bow. Twins. <laughs> this is pretty light too. Do you think it's gonna go up the tunnel? Let's try. Oh, just went up a little bit. Let's try it again. Whoa, that was so cool. What about this? Ooh, this is so pretty. This piece of fabric, yeah. It looks light and floaty. Let's see what happens. Ooh. Okay, I'm gonna let go, ready? Three, two, one. <gasps> Can I catch it? Got it, that was a fun one. I wanna do it again. <gasps> Three, two, one. Blast off! Wow, so it seems like the items that are really light go straight up out of the tunnel. And then the items that are kind of heavy stay towards the bottom or they don't float at all. What about this streamer? You might see this at a birthday party as a decoration, but have you seen a streamer and a vertical wind tunnel? Woo! Ready, set, go! Whoa! Can I catch it? Can I catch it? Got it. <laughs> Gravity is so awesome. Should we pretend to walk like there's no gravity? Okay, let's go. Whoa. 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 There's no gravity. <laughs> huh. I wonder what's going on with this wall. I see some tubes and pipes and 
This looks like a track. And, oh, look. There's a magnet on the side and it sticks to the wall because it's magnetic. Cool. I have a great idea. Let's make a comet run. Do you know what a comet is? It's made of frozen space dust and rock and ice. And the closer it is to the sun, the faster it travels because of gravity. So we could say that this ball is the sun. Ooh, it's so hot, it's hot. Okay, sun, you stay there. And now I need to make a comet run. So I'm gonna move some of these pieces so that the ball can travel towards the sun. So let's see, maybe get this down like this. What do you think? All right, now, which ball should be the comet? <gasps> what about this one? One of my favorite colors, purple. Okay, do you wanna be the comet? Great. Okay, you got this. You have to travel so fast towards the sun. You ready? All right, three, two, one. Whoa! That was amazing! Did you see how fast it traveled? Let's try another one. Maybe this yellow one. One of my other favorite colors. <laughs> okay. Focus on the sun and travel as fast as you can. You got this. Three, two, one, go! Whoa! Oh, that one fell off. Maybe we should try the purple one again. All right. There's the sun. Travel so, so fast. Three, two, one, go! Yeah! That was amazing! This calls for a 10 second dance party. Dance it out with me. Hey! Go explore some more. Whoa! They even have a space up on the rooftop outside where you can be creative. Look at all of this art. <laughs> Whoa, these are doors. Hello? <laughs> they painted them. Oh, look, a little green squiggly line, and someone painted a heart. Oh, cool. Whoa! This structure kind of reminds me of a rocket ship. Three, two, one, blast off! Hey, they have a smock. That means that I could paint something. Yeah, it's good to wear a smock, then you can protect your clothes from the paint. <laughs> I'm feeling so inspired. What should I paint? Maybe something in space? I will paint. Maybe you can guess. Do you know what planet we live on? Yeah, Earth. So I'm going to use, you know this color? Blue, yeah, blue, like the sky, the ocean. Whoa, I'll make a big circle for our planet Earth. Round and around and around. So there's so much water on Earth and there's a lot of land. So maybe I'll use green too. <gasps> yes, here's green right here. See green like trees or like a delicious avocado. <laughs> we'll put some green on here too. Oh, okay, there's Earth. And then I think I'm gonna paint some white stars too. Hey, did you know that there's over 100 billion stars in our galaxy? And that our galaxy is called the Milky Way. <laughs> we'll just do some stars like this all over. What do you think? 
I like it a lot. <laughs> wow, well, I'll let that dry for now. <laughs> I had so much fun playing and learning with you today. We got so inspired and we used our creativity and our imagination. <gasps> Remember when we learned about comets and how they're made of frozen space dust? <laughs> I think that's so neat. <laughs> well, this is the end of this video, but if you wanna watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? Cool. <laughs> M-E-E-K-A-H. Mika. All right, I'll see you later. Bye. <gasps> hey everyone, it's me, Mika. And today I'm at Sky Zone Trampoline Park in Anaheim, California. And I'm so excited because guess what's inside? Trampolines. Have you ever been on a trampoline before? They're so fun, you can jump and bounce really, really high. Have you ever wondered what makes something bounce? <laughs> Me too. Let's go inside and find out. Come on. Hello. Hi, how are you? I'm good, I'm Mika. I'm Quincy, it's nice to meet you, Mika. Hey Quincy, nice to meet you too. Ah, so, what can I do for you today, Mika? Well, I really want to play on some things that are bouncy and I hear there are a lot of trampolines here. Oh, we have so many trampolines here today. Nice. But first, we have to pick from an assortment of wristbands. Whoa, look at all of these colors. I see orange, green, yellow, red, blue, and pink. Hmm, I think I'm gonna choose the yellow one. It's mm -hmm. one of my favorite colors. I got you right here, Mika. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> what else do I need? And next you get to pick between these two socks right here. Whoa, check out these socks. They have grips on the bottom. Why are there grips on these socks? There's grips on the socks just to prevent you from slipping on the bouncy trampolines. Oh, good idea. Oh, and there's also blue and black and pink socks. I think I'm gonna go with the orange. These are super cool. So I have my wristband and my socks. And I know that there are trampolines here, but is there anything else that you have that's really bouncy? It's funny that you ask. I got a whole picture of bouncy balls right here. Whoa! There's so many. This will be the perfect way to experiment with why and how things bounce. Yes, Thanks, Quincy. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> it's so much fun to bounce. Whoa. <laughs> wow. Have you ever bounced on a trampoline before? It's so fun. And check this out. You push down on a trampoline like this. See how it goes down? But if you don't do anything, it goes back to being flat. That's called elasticity. <laughs> and that's what makes it so fun to bounce on a trampoline. <laughs> wow, let's check out all of these different kinds of balls and see how they bounce. All right, let's see, we have a squishy orange ball here. Whoa! And look at this one. It's orange too, but it's smaller. Kind of looks like a ball pit ball. Oh, it's nice and light. I wonder how this one bounces. Oh, see ya! <laughs> Ooh, I love these. They're bouncy balls. <laughs> this is a nice green. Okay, ready? Oh, yeah, let me try again. <laughs> Here's another bouncy ball. Whoa! Nice job, bouncy ball! <laughs> Let's see what happens if we bounce the balls and I bounce at the same time! Woo! <laughs> hey! This woo, seems like a really fun space to play a game where you can bounce and throw these balls. Huh. If only I had some friends to play a game with. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hey! Do you want to play a game with me? I would love to, Mika. Oh, awesome! But I got a friend with me as well. Oh, hey! This is Priscilla. Hi. Hi, Priscilla. I'm Mika. Nice to meet you. So, do you want to play a little catch on these trampolines I and with these bouncy balls? I would love to play some catch, Mika. Okay. Yeah, me too. Oh, let's do it. Everyone grab a ball. 
Get one over here. Oh, I know. What if we threw and caught the ball? So we can throw to each other and catch at the same time. I Makes like sense? That. I like that idea. I like okay, that. let's count to three. All right, ready? One, two, three. Whoa, we did it, nice. Can you do it again? Yes. All right, one, two, three. <laughs> awesome. One, two, three. Nice. Awesome. Ooh, I'm feeling nice and warm now. Me too. Oh, what else can we play? We could play dodgeball. Ooh, dodgeball. How do you play dodgeball? Dodgeball is very simple. Hit or be hit. Oh, hit or be hit. <laughs> I'm a little nervous. Don't be nervous. It's real simple. All you got to do is duck, dodge, and throw the ball. Oh, I got you. That okay, so we're going to try and throw the ball to hit the other people, but you don't want to get hit. You want to dodge and get out of the way, right? Exactly. Okay, I'm feeling ready. Are you? I think so. I hope you're ready. <laughs> All right, let's go! <laughs> oh! Whoa, oh, you got me! Oh, oh, oh. Oh. Oh, look out! Me. Of course, Mika. Thank you for having us. Yeah, this was so fun. So much fun. <laughs> Woo! See you later. So, we learned that things bounce because of elasticity. Woo! And it's really important to get our bodies warmed up and stretched really good so we can be stretchy and bendy like elastic so we don't get hurt. And I really want to try an obstacle course. So can you help me stretch and move my body so I can get warmed up and ready to go? Yes, of course. Let's okay. get ready for this obstacle course. <laughs> okay. Alrighty, so the first exercise we're gonna do, we're gonna put our arms like this. Okay. And you're gonna do a nice twist. Nice twist. All right, we're gonna switch arms again. Okay. Another big twist. Perfect. Okay, now we're gonna reach for the floor. Whoa. Whoa. And we're gonna hold it for three seconds. All right, one, one two. two. Three. Perfect. <laughs> Another big stretch. Whoa. Ready? One. One, two, two three. three. Perfect. Do you have Ooh. any other stretches that we could do? Hmm. Yeah. How about we grab our foot? You have to have really good balance and stretch your leg Ooh. that way. All right. <laughs> like Ooh. flamingos. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> All right. Try your other foot. All right. The other one. Whoa. Okay. It's a little wobbly on this Whoa. one. Okay, perfect. Ooh, my legs feel nice and warm. Ready? My arms are stretched out. I think I'm ready for the obstacle course. All right, perfect. I hope you have fun. Thank you so much. All right. See you soon. See ya.
and see what it's about when we're dancing and singing so loud get ready warm up now can you dance with me one two three do the blue baby bump on your toes yeah tip top move your feet to the beat and don't stop blue baby bump on your toes yeah tip top move your feet to the beat and don't stop can you keep up blue baby really high and some bounced really low and I had fun bouncing too. <laughs> I hope you continue to learn with me. If you want to learn some more, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? <laughs> okay. M-E-E-K-A-H. Mika. <laughs> we'll see you next time. Bye. <gasps> Whoa. Did you see that bucket crush that egg filled with water? <gasps> that was amazing! <laughs> Hello, I'm Mika, and I'm so excited to see more construction vehicles. Do you want to know which ones we're going to see today? <laughs> I'll give you a hint. One of them starts with an E, and it goes like this. <laughs> That's right, an excavator. <laughs> Hey, Dirt, see you later. <laughs> oh, are you excited to see some construction vehicles with me? All right, one, two, three, four. Are you ready to explore? Let's go. <laughs> oh, I spy with my Mika eye something that starts with the letter E. <laughs> That's right, it's an excavator! <laughs> Excavators have a really long arm with a bucket at the end. The bucket scoops up things like dirt, sand, and even really heavy things like big, 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 big rocks. <laughs> oh, having an excavator is like having a helpful friend that loves to dig and build. Whoa! Look at all this dirt. Hey, I bet we can use the excavator to dig up stuff to play with. <laughs> okay, excavator Mika, headed to the cab. Whoa, look at what I'm doing. <laughs> Arm up, bucket down. Let's scoop up this dirt. Ready, set, dump that dirt! Oh, whoa! What? Check it out! A metal can! Ooh, let's keep looking for things to play with! <laughs> huh? Wow! Oh, a dinosaur egg? <laughs> Uh, what else is in here? Look at that bucket digging up all the dirt. Oh, check it out. Traffic cones. <laughs> They're very colorful too. Okay, 
Let's look for something over here. <gasps> Whoa! Did you see that? <gasps> Foam blocks! For building! <laughs> Let's get these items and take them back to the backhoe. <laughs> Whoa! <gasps> we found so many different objects. This calls for a 10-second dance party. <laughs> We did it! We did it! We never ever quit it! We did it! <laughs> okay, let's take these over to the backhoe. Whoa! Peekaboo! <laughs> I see you! <laughs> I have something to show you. Come on! <gasps> Whoa! Do you see that big construction vehicle behind me? <laughs> yeah, it's called a backhoe. Mm-hmm, it has a big bucket in the front, just like an excavator, and a big bucket in the back. <laughs> Whoa, I bet you could scoop up lots of dirt and rocks with that. Oh, would you like to count the wheels with me? <laughs> oh, great, here we go. <laughs> One. <laughs> Whoa! Two. <laughs> there are more over here. <laughs> Three. And four. Four wheels. Two little wheels and two big giant wheels. Hey, and that over there is called the cab. Mm -hmm. That's where the construction workers sit and drive the vehicle. Beep, beep. <laughs> I know. We should do an experiment. Yeah. We can take the items that we found with the excavator and crush them with the bucket of the backhoe. Let's go. <laughs> Look at all this stuff. Uh-oh. Uh Whoa. 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 <laughs> okay. <laughs> Let's crush it. <laughs> Do you know what shape this is? Uh-huh. It's a rectangle. <laughs> kind of like a door. Knock, knock, knock. Who's home? Construction worker Mika. <laughs> oh, foam blocks are a little squishy, but kind of hard. They're kind of in the middle of squishy and hard. <laughs> yeah, I can squish it up and you can kind of see my thumbprints make an imprint. Let's see what happens. <laughs> Whoa, <laughs> the foam bricks were so squish, squish, squishy. <laughs> yeah, foam isn't really that hard, so the bucket had no problem getting those phone bricks nice and flat. Hmm, <laughs> <laughs> I put a water balloon inside this dinosaur egg. Whoa. It's really, really, really hard. <gasps> I bet it'll make a loud crunching sound and a big splash from the water balloon. <laughs> Let's see. <gasps> Did you hear the water go splash? <laughs> yeah, but the hard shell of the egg went crunch. <laughs> that was really cool. <laughs> What's that? I look like a little bunny rabbit. Hop, 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 <laughs> hop, hop. <laughs> Whoa, these cones are really, really squishy. <laughs> hmm. I wonder what will happen because they're squishy and kind of soft, but also kind of hard too. Huh. <gasps> Let's see what will happen when we put them under the bucket. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. <laughs> <laughs> wow, those construction cones just bent? Yeah, 
Yeah, and then they went back to their triangular shape. <laughs> Next up, this empty metal can. Ooh, that makes a cool sound. <gasps> I know, let's pretend it's the drum. My name is Mika. And I like to crush stuff. <laughs> hmm. Oh, hey. Do you know what this shape is? That's right. It's a circle. Whoa! <laughs> Did you hear the crunch of the metal bucket? <laughs> yeah. See, what happened was all the pressure and the heaviness from the bucket crushed that metal can into a tiny, tiny, tiny metal can. <laughs> that was so cool. It went crunch. <laughs> kind of like a potato chip. <laughs> I have an item in my jam pack. Would you like to know what it is? Let's see. A piece of blue chalk, and white chalk, and yellow chalk. Yeah, like the sun. <laughs> it's hot. <laughs> and some green chalk, and also a piece of pink chalk. Yeah, chalk is hard, but it's kind of powdery. See, it gets all over my hands. <laughs> mm. And it does make a pretty cool sound. Whoa, it's not very strong either. <laughs> I know, let's use this piece to draw some ocean waves. <laughs> okay, let's get on our surfboards and go surfing. <laughs> Whoa, here comes a big wave! <gasps> Splash! <laughs> okay, I'm going to take this chalk and put it under the bucket. <laughs> here we go! Wow! The chalk crushed into powder! Did you see that? <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Let's take a closer look at our item. Whoa. Wow. Even though the foam blocks are really soft, kind of like the teddy bear. Oh, huh, they didn't change much. <gasps> Whoa. <gasps> but the dinosaur egg broke apart. Even though it's really, really hard. Oh, and the metal can, it didn't break, but it changed shape from a cylinder into a circle. <laughs> wow, that was an awesome experiment. We crushed it. <laughs> that was so much fun exploring the construction site with you. We found some items with our excavator and dug them up, and then we crushed them with the backhoe. <gasps> Which one was your favorite? Yeah, that was pretty cool. I think my favorite was the dinosaur egg with the water balloon. <laughs> well, that's the end of this video. But if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? <laughs> M-E-E-K-A-H, Mika. Okay, friends, see you later. Come on everyone, let's make learning fun! Mika, Mika So much to learn about, it'll make you wanna shout Mika! Mika.